My name is Paul 50 Johnson, and I'm a creative analyst, urban muralist, and a self-taught illustrator. My style consists of kawaii and cartoon and anime aspects. In an attempt to not let go of my childhood, I find myself drawing playful, fun characters, and most of all my work consists of girls in the hopeless romantic attempt to draw my perfect girl. My background started as a photographer in Wayne State. I was very active in the scene, photographer for the Majestic, doing senior photos, wedding photos. I was living a bit of a lifestyle where I was um, well known in the scenes I, I was in. And because of that, I found myself getting, what's the word, a bit stagnant. That led me to my travels to Thailand, where before I left, the day of leaving on my flight, I broke my camera, which is monumental because, because it shifted my focus from photography to drawing. I find myself building realities for building other people's realities as well as myself, you know. And it's not it's not being the boat in the ocean, but being the ocean that is constantly pushing waves and making making waves. So building realities it eerily, eerily, strangely enough, translated into the work that I'm creating. You know, I didn't I, I've never had really had a message. I've never really had a tone. I just always did it because I wanted to do it. And now that I see I'm literally building realities with, with, with perspective and, and bringing in concepts like clouds and plants and things that one can easily identify. It's, I lose myself in the world that I create. What I get from spray painting and just street art in general is it's instantly gratifying. It's just something about using long sweeps with your arm is very expressive. It focuses you to, to have patience. It's, it's something very vain about leaving my mark. I had the opportunity to move back for the Rebel House of Art. I was talking to the curator and um, that was one of my major decisions to move back and because I missed my family and I hadn't been in Detroit in over two years and I feel like people missed me. So what people should see when they buy my art, hmm. See playful, see fun, see aspects of childhood. You know, I, I kind of want to distract people for that split second. I'm making art that people can focus on, that will draw your eyes. 